We begin with our biggest story of the day. When you woke up this morning, did your computer screen look like this? This isn't even a graphic. This is just what the screen looks like <laughs> today. I'm kidding. A botched software update took down Windows systems, not just here in the U.S., but all over the world. Mm. Thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Matt Austin. And I'm Ginger Gatz. And the update was pushed to Microsoft systems by a company called CrowdStrike. It's a global cybersecurity firm that essentially provides antivirus software to Microsoft for its Windows devices. And you don't have to have a Windows computer to be impacted by all of this. Everything from crucial government services and hospitals to flights from airports all across the globe were disrupted. News 6's Darrell Baker is speaking with IT experts to show us what it takes to get all of these systems back online. We have to get into the computer uh, to the application and pull out the, the bad file. Our IT specialists here at News 6 have worked around the clock it infected our, our news uh, editing system, so we had to get around that for our news uh, at, in the morning and at noon. Several people across the globe and the country went to work and saw this blue screen right here. It's because of a CrowdStrike update that malfunctioned. CrowdStrike is a cybersecurity company that does cybersecurity for several businesses across the globe. And now so many people just like the airports and banks are scrambling, trying to fix everything, including Starbucks and also even here at our news station. It wasn't really a virus. Uh, it, it was the application to eradicate viruses that, that failed to work. We've had viruses before, uh, but we were able to contain them. This one uh, took off by itself and we had to uh, chase it around. Several IT specialists had to go to each computer and see if they had the software update and try to fix that issue. And then when you have 100 or even 500 computers in your business, that can take quite some time. Potentially where the software is removed and not replaced with something else, you could leave yourself or companies and data could be made vulnerable. Danny Jenkins with ThreatLocker, a different cybersecurity company, says this is one of the biggest outages in recent history. The CEO says the companies will most likely focus on getting the most critical systems back up and running. And other systems like the ones that control payroll will be pushed to the back of the line. Depends how many hands you've got, but it's a manual process. So if you take 10, 15 minutes per PC, do five at a time, so 10, 15 minutes per five PCs, mm -hmm. it's, it's going to be slow. Jenkins says that those set to get paid Friday could be missing a paycheck for a few days if their employers were impacted. In Orlando, Jarrell Baker, Getting Results, News 6. Jarrell, thank you. And we want to know what, if you were impacted by this botched update. I know a lot of people were, mm -hmm. especially if you were working today. We've had a poll going, and the majority of you say yes, but many of you said no. Lucky for you. Maybe you've got a Mac or maybe Something. you're just at home today. Be sure to leave a comment and explain how you were impacted. Was your flight canceled? Mm. Was your office closed? We look forward to hearing from you.